Testing. Okay, yeah, we're here. Great. Thanks, AJ. Really appreciate someone uh, letting me know when my AV has gone haywire here. And how's the volume? Is that okay? All right, great. So hello, everyone. Thanks uh, for bearing with me. Uh, as I was saying, while muted, I uh, had some semi-serious computer issues, and that's why it's been a week since I've streamed. Uh, had to diagnose and replace a hard drive. So we have some residual uh, issues, like me not realizing that my AV is broken on my OBS. Uh, but I'm generally doing fine. Um, a fair amount of settings were saved in various places, so... Uprooter's kind of interesting here. The stone stuff is fine. Seeing Stone Baron visiting Quarryman and Stone Curator makes me slightly sad I didn't take the Stone House combo in the last pack. Uh, my first pack was just garbage field barterer garbage and field barterer so i'm not excited for whatever's coming back there i might get two of these right ameliorator is like the last choice of what actually gets picked here and that's not that bad visiting quarryman's just the best so i'm just gonna take it Either of the stone named cards are fine, Ameliorator's fine, Uprooter. I don't think I need to risk it yet, because uh, I'm not really sure where my field situation is. Um, I have a lot of clay and stone from uh, visiting Quarryman and Coal Investor. Fofo, hello. Delivery Man is okay. Uh, it keeps me getting a lot of clay. Helper's kind of interesting. Yeah, Fofo. Um, I guess you just came in here. Um, I've I my computer hard drive died, so it's been a process of replacing that. Outrider's a fun pick, but probably not good enough. Master of None. What does it get you? Two food, one stone, one grain, and one pig. You know that's probably good enough compared to Delivery Man. Herdsman's fine. Businessman is also possible. I don't need to be read buyer here. Read buyer is really bad. Banker. No. Not banker. You have to be. I mean, this card could pay off a lot, but I don't think it's anything special. I'll take Herdsman and intend not to use... You know, I'm gonna have a lot of clay and maybe stone. I'm gonna take Businessman, it has some upside. Yeah, Fofo, I know that it's, uh... I'm your source of entertainment at lunch hour during your workday. And I mean, I like that... I seem to be getting like eight to ten viewers on average during my streams these days, uh, so I, I don't like letting anyone down. But this time I didn't have much of a choice. I mean, I could have been more prepared for this hard drive death because I had some very red flag warning signs. Uh, okay, this is this is not meticulous men. This is Sugar Daddy, because why did anyone take Master Fencer ahead of it? The only reason I can think of is like Hedge Keeper. And I got Uprooter back, which is fine. I'll try to maybe find some crazy field miners here. Uh, like Steel Plow. Oh, but there is some stuff here. I do not like what I see, in that there's very good stuff for other people. 
uh, bee statues here, and I don't have herdsmen, and I'm totally fine with this. Bee statue, not very strong. Uh, rum distillery, very strong. Dual field is interesting. Lighthouse is good for stone house stuff. Bottle gets you four food the next time you take fishing. All right, I think I have to take uh, steel plow. Oh, thank you, Fofo. Really appreciate it. Steel plow with uprooter seems very good. Um, just unhappy that I'm passing rum distillery. There was no big grain thing, but if, you know, someone has Field Watchman, then uh, it's gonna be bad. Dual Field is very good for me with Uprooter in hand. I think. Uprooter doesn't care about the Field Miners, right? Well, there's some grain sources. Uh, this is probably Potter's Plow, and try to wheel sheaf or sack cart. I don't need need green because I have the one on Master of None. So basically my big idea here is to, uh play Field Barterer relatively early, play Potter's Plow relatively early probably. This is gonna work pretty well. Um, maybe get my four fields in... Oh, you know, I don't even, okay. So here's how I end with five fields and like 12 points on Uprooter. I play Field Barterer by stage three even. No, probably stage uh, two, at the end of stage two. I get three of the four field barterer fields. I play Potter's Plow. I get three field my three field plow somewhere in round 10 or 11. Then in round 12 or 13, I play Uprooter. And round 13, start player Steel Plow. And plow so with my first move in 14. Yo, Average Joe! I saw that you've been streaming. How's that going? Thanks for the the raid there. Uh, let's see. Why did oh Stone Curator was in the draft? So that's a minor thought. I'm generally okay on stone here, I think. Cooking Corner might be... Cooking Corner and Fruitcake are probably the best cards here. Lotus Roots is okay. Nice, Mason's Apprentice. Love to hear that. Showing that off for the audience. And then this game worse. Yeah, I mean, it's always a bummer when bad games come on stream, because it's like, well, gotta find something entertaining to give everyone here. Um, I think fruitcake is good enough. I don't want to be fishing too much. Raiding on a Viking ship, nice. Definitely in style. Uh, feast turn... Or, you just... Get four. So this is a flagon if you have a boar. Storehouse clerk too. That's that's some good stuff. Uh, magic beans is a little tempting here. I mean, this game I'm going for crazy uprooter stuff. So. I'm looking forward to where this one's going. I probably don't need to do too much special stuff here if I'm if I'm going uh 12 point uprooter and still getting max field points.
Yeah, and now uh, Lighthouse comes back. There is Stone Baron in this game. Do I just go Lighthouse here? Uh, let's see. What am I playing late, though? Can I get Field Barterer out after Sugar Daddy? That doesn't seem very likely. Uprooter would. Yeah, want my last Field Barter and a Steel Plow to get my fields back. And if the... If the barter doesn't happen in perfect timing, that's fine, because two points in the fifth field are basically the same. There's no constable here. I'm drafting a fair bit of clay miners, and that's totally fine, because I have coal investor, visiting quarryman, delivery man was in the game. Can I justify this lighthouse? Sugar Daddy is good. It's really good. But is it going to be even worth a grain and a veg here? Or a veg and a cow? I would have to hold off on visiting Quarryman. Maybe Master of None. Could try to get Businessman in. That's a lot to ask. On the other hand, Cornucopia is not doing great for me. And Simple Fireplace is underwhelming. So I'll take Lighthouse. Do I have enough actions for this stuff? Very questionable, but it lets me have enough wood. I don't like passing Cornucopia. Because uh, we did have some grain and veg in the miners here as G6, G7 does tend to throw in. So I don't have any um, food set up here, so I think milk can is a good pick. I'm hoping to get a grain off Master of None. Uh, Reno Materials is actually pretty interesting. Yeah, I mean, who needs food? Transactions. Let's talk a little about transaction and field barterer here. <laughs> I don't think that's a good enough combo. Uh, this is playagricola.com, AJ. It is the premier site for high level agricola play. If you play here, you get to play against the best players in the world. Uh, that would be a good command to have, Average Joe. Uh, too bad I'm not smart enough to, you know, throw that in. Um, and yes, while I normally block links, definitely Play Agricola and Board Game Geek are on the exempt list, among other things. Um, Reno Materials is interesting. It's like an extra clay to get the Reno as a miner. Really don't think Stone Cart's going to be great for me. I'm just going to take Reno materials. If Reno is round 7, this is going to be huge. Alright, so I've got uh, a mishmash of things here. We're hoping for early Reno and to not need to play Reno materials. We're trying to get 11 fields plowed during this game and take 6 of them off at the right time for 2 VP each. Which means there's no time for sowing until round 14. Well, I'm glad I figured out the timing of all this stuff uh, relating to the fields. I want to play Coal Investor early. Probably visiting Quarryman early. I need a fair bit of clay for my plans here.
So, I mean, Sugar Daddy was supposed to be a block pick. So this went pretty well. Uh, Reedstone Food over Coal Investor is my first action. Could consider just taking three wood. Uh, these are out of order. Uh, okay, free coal investor, I will take it. Uh, Field Watchman taking three wood this early generally means that uh, they got a fish trap or other very good uh, wood costing miner. Yeah, I mean, how much more expensive is it? It's one clay. So if you're willing to pay a tiny premium, you can get your... Uh, like, you can guarantee the Renault to stone by round 7. And that could put me in the Renault queue on... Or, in the growth queue at the normal time. Which would be super valuable. So, Donba opened with Reedstone, and that's why I ended up with a free Ock here. Uh, delivery Man for simply Moxie here. Makes sense. Uh, the clay in round 9 is most likely for Potter's Plow and Feast. I will be in clay by then. I will have played Field Barterer by then. Yep, that makes sense too. Cat Lover and Benefactor definitely want to fence early, gather some sheep, and then invest uh, wood on rooms if you're Cat Lover, and you don't need that if you're Benefactor. So that, make, that would make sense for sure. Now this is less expected. Three wood into stable, not very strong. Um, but you know, I'm sure Field Watchman has a reason. Field Watchman usually comes up with a pretty coherent plan. Whether Field Watchman sticks to that plan might be a different story, but it's there. Um, yeah, I mean, so many stable combos want you to play the card before building the stable. So here I could plow a <laughs> Uh Donba day labored. I think Donba might have educator. I take two wood here, I think. Let's get that out of the way. One for field barter, one for lighthouse. I don't need any more wood in the early game. And two clays, the wrong number to guarantee Renault materials. It's the wrong number to uh, build a fireplace or hearth. And also I get clay with visiting quarryman. So should take wood actions instead. Moxie takes uh, plow instead of two clay. We get major here. So we now have four, uh, six good actions in round two, which I love to see as the uh, as the second player here. Usually it's five good actions. Uh, this is a very juicy Reedstone food here. Usually it's the two Reed action, the Reedstone food, three wood, ock, ock. The ox don't seem quite as highly demanded this time. Oh yeah, simply didn't uh, replace the two clay of the board. And needs to finish off the delivery man here. Uh, but yeah, anyway, uh, on top of those five actions, we have a four clay potential here. So... What I could have done is played Visiting Quarryman, uh, because there's, you know, the four clay action, and I might be able to get that sixth and then have a guest use that and then do a normal action last, but then my normal action's not very good. 
So I'm not convinced that's a good line. Also, reed stone food is necessary at least once for uh, this field barterer. Moxie takes the four clay. And there is the educator for Donba. Ooh, and it's landing net for Field Watchman. I get a choice between three wood and expensive Ock. I think I want my Ock to be Field Barterer, so I just take the wood here. And then next round... Yeah, don't need to let the educator go. Uh, wait, what's going on? Um... Who was start player this round? Field Watchman was, yeah, okay. Moxie's playing Wired Answer. <laughs> Donba. <laughs> really trying to get that educator going, and uh, Moxie obliges with this Wired Answer. I don't think I like this card. It encourages you to do bad things. Uh, Stone Baron for Donba. Is this a wacky water carrier plan here? Now with three stone, two wood, trying to build the well out fast. So I don't get a four wood grab, but that's okay. What if you do bad things by default indeed? Um, I take three food here. I absolutely take three food here. There was some fishing miner stuff, which means I think I want to take traveling here. It doesn't really matter. These these three food actions should go right now. Uh, and I see I have some pixels off here. In multiple places. Probably better. Uh, Don will playing Pilgrim. Uh, that's an interesting move. All right, what else do I need to do this stage? Three clay is better. I could play Visiting Quarry Man, but I'm really, you know, trying to hold off on it. Maybe I just take three clay, do X and Field Barterer next round.
this also lets me do reno materials. Reedstone food's a great action, but Field Watchman should have that on lock. Moxie doesn't have food for an Ock. Donba's educator is very suspect here, I have to say. This is certainly the well and trying to play water carrier. I'm pretty sure I have that red. There is the well. I, I see no feeding plan for Donba yet. Yeah, I'm not sure Donba can afford any ox here. And Field Watchman goes for four wood. Uh, works for me. Reedstone. Pretend I want a room. Did I take too much food there? I did. My F key hit twice. Alright, so uh, we've got room parts that we don't want. I can play Field Barterer. Alright, real talk. Am I going to build a room if the opportunity arises? Donba takes a clay on Pilgrim. Okay. Wait. Mm. Yeah, Fofo, there was Water Carrier in the draft. <laughs> yeah, Pilgrim, uh, not great. Um, I don't see how Donba feeds? If he plays an Ock. Uh. So Donba on day labor makes more sense. So Donba has food now. Five food? I mean, Pilgrim with Educator is, like, one of the only ways to use it, but it'll net you a tiny bit. Uh, seems very early for Field Barter. It takes me out of the running for a room. I'm going to play Master of None here, I think. That's a safer play. work green fence or boron fences and a stone on Maymai. Field Watchman builds two stables, so it's now at three stables. So my internet struggling a tiny bit. Hopefully the stream's doing fine. It looks like it is. Um this is how it works, right? Yeah, okay. Donba asking a good question. 1 plus 2 is 3, or 1 plus 1 is 2? 
phone silent. Okay, and field watching is gonna end on two stables. Makes sense. Uh, taking wood and reedstone food to turn barterer back on and get the room, yeah, it definitely could. Moxie taking a hearth here. That uh, early four clay grab is really good if you got uh, the cooking corner in the draft. All right, I'm very interested in what this uh, what this round five card is. Also, Moxie not. Um, or taking start player is very good for me. Donba starts and gets six wood. And is now ready to play water carrier. Alright, uh, stone is like the worst action to see here because I'm not sure which way to go. Um, I think it's time to just build a room. And be okay with whatever happens. We got Field Watchman right in front of us. Uh, to defend start player. And generally that can work out pretty well. Getting good actions without too much effort. I get the two food here right now. My next action's gonna be fine. Yeah, I think this is overall a fine sequence. Moxie does trigger Wired Answer the first time. Moxie playing Corn Sheet there. I don't think I like that play. Um, if Moxie's trying to get the next room build, Reedstone Food is a much better way to do that because it makes Donba take one read as a method of doing it. Was there a read exchange in this draft, though? I might be remembering wrong, but if there was a read exchange, then Moxie could be correct there if they want to defend the third room. Usually defending the third room doesn't work out very well. Donba does take readstone food. And Field Watchman Doing Donba a big solid there, playing Project Servant, enabling the um, the water carrier. There we go. Um, I'll place the food so that nobody's confused about the board state. All right, so here I could plow, but I'm playing Potter's Plow soon. Too bad it's not Reed there. Let's see, I could play a Fireplace. Fireplace isn't terrible, but it really doesn't do much. Well, I, I think I just have to take two wood here. There's nothing on this board for me. Yeah, two reader readstone food for field butter and now will work just fine. All right, well, no lighthouse for me this game. And we see Moxie taking two sheep here, so uh, note that even if I 
Even if I had built a fireplace, I was not getting the sheep. So, what's the state of things here? Moxie does build a room with the first action. Watchman will grow. I'll start player Potter's Plow. And then perfect for me would be Reed Stow. No. Yeah, I don't have time to get field barterer out this harvest and that's okay i guess the plan wasn't ever to do that so start player three food if i can is probably the uh right sequence and then well i'll take two read if i can Is two read that much better than read stone food for me? Maybe it's not. There's a lot of stuff to consider here. Um, I still could try for sugar daddy, even though lighthouse isn't really uh, possible anymore. Donba doing action counting. So this project servant, what does field watchman want? Uh, three food for a stable at the end of round seven, so Field Watchman only needs three food plus this to feed. Excuse me. Pasture in stage three, sown fields in stage four, and reno to stone in stage five. Donba starting with Sundial. That saves me an action. Dovetail joints. That's a neat thing to do with uh, two stables, project servant, and such. The food still looks suspect for everyone. I could just play visiting quarry man here. Good morning, Marushka. Seems like it might be a good time to do this. Three food's a lot safer. But Moxie's actually not going to take the three food. No, okay, I'm going to take the a read spot right now. Yeah, I'm seeming to have some lag with the Play Agricola site. I'm doing alright. Um, finally got my computer back working. Looks like not quite all the way, but good enough for this. Stream lag for the first time? Yeah, I mean, I got some bad lag on my end too while trying to take Reedstone food. Yeah, it looks like I'm just getting a lot of lag. Alright. Uh, what's the deal? Yeah, okay. Turn Wi-Fi off, maybe. Oh, no, it's a completely sad lighthouse. It's not doing anything. I might have to try something besides uh, Google Chrome. Um, I'm say I'm seeing here that Streamlabs doesn't think I've dropped any frames.
Animal trap for Donba. Nice. Uh, Donba. <laughs> this is just an unfortunate educator for him. Animal trap is nice here. Getting uh, a plow down, supposedly, soon. Oh, no, can just take a grain and sow it on the dual field. Yeah, I mean, I believe you. I believe that I certainly dropped frames. Um, how is this field barterer timing? Do I actually care? Oh, this doesn't let me play Potter's Plow, so that's an issue. Uh, three food here. Can I wire dance better than Moxie can by going for four food next round? Probably, and yet I absolutely shouldn't. Okay. So I'll uh, grow with Potter's Plow. Uh, project is at the end of this round, right? Yeah, that's that's a clever magic beans. That's a very clever magic beans. Potter's plow down. Okay, the game looks like it's going well for me. Yeah, timing specific and uh, risking timing with educator doesn't seem like a great sink there. Hmm. There should have been one clay. And does it make sense for Moxie to be at seven now? Yes. Oh, field watchman removed it on accident. Okay. Yep. While taking magic beans, probably. Alright, so sad lighthouse, yes, but I didn't have to stretch for it. We had Reno round seven. This is fine. Get to grow second. Moxie plays Stone Curator here. It does fit Wired Answer just fine. Madonba's too busy building a room, doesn't uh, realize that occupation's in play. Uh, Donba plays free Omni Farm or uh, Omni Farmer for minus two food, and Field Watching plays free Joinery. Cool. Omni Braggart. Um, okay, so four woods very good here, but doesn't help me with my immediate plans. I do kind of want to get this out of the way. I want to play Visiting Quarry Man, but I'm trying to be stingy. 
I'm not getting that three stone unless I take it now. Also, what do I really need it for? Four wood's really good. Uh, Field Watchman's getting six wood. And if I don't touch it, it becomes five for me. Moxie playing Cornucopia. Okay, this makes a lot more sense for Corn Chief. Alright, I mean, I shouldn't care about pixels on these uh, fields here, given that they will be uprooted. Field Watchman playing Building Planner. Now, that's a good combo with Project Servant. Nicely done. So now it's six wood, five wood, four stone on this board. Six clay, five clay, so I, I need to feed. So I'll take uh, five wood if Field Watchman takes six. Then I'll play uh, Visiting Quarryman. Take, uh, probably five clay if I'm being hopeful and or realistic. Well, I don't really need it right now. I'm trying to walk some very tight lines here. It's still going pretty okay, I think. It's also very tempting to just take a veg and sow a grain in a veg here. The problem is I it really fixes my uprooting timing even more. Um, the veg will probably come off, or it will come off in time for uprooter, but one of the grains is going to be stuck on there. Moxie takes the four stone, makes sense for stone curator. I assume Moxie has master fencer. Is Visiting Quarryman really the right play here? Watchman takes three sheep. Good for him. I'm getting even more clay next round. I suppose it is hearth clay. And for that, it's going to be good. I don't quite know how I'm feeding this harvest. It could be fruit cake. It could be five food fishing. Uh, Edu? Forgot you had educator, huh? Animal dealer, okay. So Donbo will want a hearth.
Lotus Roots. Okay, well, that's... Distance learning. <laughs> Uh, good times. Okay, so I have the last two actions on this board. Take the five clay. And then take the five food. Yeah, I mean, that that was a very greedy Lotus Roots. Alright, so my ideal round now is Field Barterer. Really have to make sure I get that down. Renoing is good, Fencing is fine. Moxie uh, is in food trouble now. Come on, Field Watchman. That's, uh... Wrong timing. But I mean, the fact that someone could have grosser means that you should just keep your board state displayed correctly. So, uh, Moxie took four wood, Donba took cooking hearth. So I can't do that here. It's okay. Oh, I don't have the read to renovate. I totally knew that. And I didn't pay a food. Moxie grows with rum distillery. Okay, so barely gets the feeding in there. But now rum is going to hit on cornucopia every harvest, so that's pretty good. All right, yeah, good combo there, Cornucopia Rum Distillery. I probably should have been more careful about that in the draft. We're hoping for 12 Uprooter points, I believe. Um, oh, wait, no, it's just... Uh, huh. Well, obviously I haven't decided yet. The steel plow is uh, very interesting, of course. Let's see, reedstone is fine for me. Bosun for Field Watchman. That is uh, unexpected.
Let's see here. Um, fences is good. Reedstone is really the only other option. So, I mean, I could try to get Steel Plow out in Stage 4 and just use my Field Barterer um, for these three fields to get my field points. Yeah, got some fun stuff here. I mean, I have 11 plows in my hand, so get to decide exactly how many get uh, thrown out on Uprooter. Uh, it's a good time to fence. Computer! Computer! Please! Uh, singer for Donba, okay. Oh my gosh. Donba getting a nice Omni Farmer going. Uh, and takes Reedstone food. Donba feeds a cow into food. Sawmill for Field Watchman. Wow. The joinery is still free for him. Uh, let's see. I could take the board now. Oh, Field Watchman start player. This is probably my best move. I need some wood soon. This is, this is fine. It's not great, it's fine. Oh, I missed that building planner was getting a room. This feast, that's good. My milk can's actually gonna be good now. I have uh, more synergy here than I realized. Don't need to hit a uh, visiting quarry man here. Not really sure what I'll be hitting it for, probably just some stone. Free wood is very good for steel plow. I could just renovate with it, though I probably want to also, uh... all right, what has happened here? Hopefully it's not YouTube that's been slowing this connection down. Yeah, all my uh, settings we're pretty much sent back to default land when uh, when I reinstalled the new hard or when I installed the new hard drive. So that's probably where all this uh, struggle is coming from. Well, I was wondering how much longer free wood would stay on the board. Uh, Moxie has played a lot of start player. I don't think it's particularly effective here either.
Donba's got all the ox out now. Watchman fishes with grain. That's, that's a really sad lotus root. I could play pottery. I could play fireplace. Could take two reed. Pottery's probably the right play pretty soon. So I think I'm just going to end up with enough stone this game without doing too much. So that's why I'm taking without, I'm taking read, two read over read stone food. All right, I'm getting to the point where I would really like to get steel plow out and feast out or feast or milk can out. I'm going to need to feed, I think. Fruitcake is probably not on the team. Reno Materials is... I can't afford a start player for that. I'd rather play a Reno with an improvement. Woodbuyer. Uh, I like where I am here. Pretty humble game plan. Yeah, I mean, it's fine. Gameplay. Ah. Yeah, I mean, I don't think I need to do much here. If I... If I just, uh... Yeah, assume no buy is correct. Family growth free joinery again for Field Watchman is nice. Uh, okay. Uh, okay, um, get this out of the way. Take the fireplace first. No, that's not the button I want. All right, I cleared off my Master of None. I don't really have defense anymore. Um, oh, you know what's really funny? I'm not going to be able to uproot with Steel Plow. It's going to be a 10-point uprooter, and I'm going to end with six fields. Because there's no way I get enough wood and have enough farm spaces to get it done. Farm spaces is my limiting factor here, which is hilarious. Alright, three stone now looking pretty good. Uh, I'm not getting any of the wood. So it'll be Quarryman Three Stone, Reno Pottery, XX, Start Feaster Milk Can will be fine. Though with the way Start Player has been uh, pinging around quickly, I don't think I'll have a chance at it. Which is dance ground. <laughs> oh, that would be hilarious. That would be absolutely hilarious.
Moxie is gonna tunnel. Not take the four wood. Tunnel does not require adjacency. Also, there's just a five food action. Moxie has two more food. No, that's Donda's food. Moxie's food situation is really rough here. I don't think Woodbuyer is a great play. Though if I take it, that, yeah, I shouldn't risk it here. Okay, so home, remove, quarry man, guess, no one can reno right now, take the clay. All right, what is going on? What is going on with my uh, setup here? And why is it lagging all the time? Moxie takes a cow. Whoa. Start player hammock for uh, field watchman. That's good. Gets to grow right now. Okay. Uh, Donbo wants an animal pair to put onto Omni Farmer. I want Reno Pottery. The five food. Test chat. Current. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. You nailed it. Yeah? If I can't uh, get Feast or Milk Can out, then I will take the five food on traveling. Oh my god, come on, computer. There's only a five second delay? Yeah, well that's good. Oh my gosh, and an Ashbringer for Field Watchman? What happened here? Such good cards. Very interesting sequencing, but. All right, so I can reno pottery. I mean, B statue is technically a day labor miner. Sugar Daddy gets a resource including itself, or a good including itself, so maybe I should have thought about that a little longer. Uh, Donba just left the two food on the board. What? Uh, okay. Uh, three wood. Bye. Bye. Okay. 
That uh, was not what I was hoping. This we breed. I'm on the wrong parody of both animal types. Uh, Field Watchman plows. That's uh, a fortunate flip for me because I was getting this, and I didn't especially want plow so. Moxie doing uh, three food and then the cornucopia to rum distillery. Staying uh, exact on food. I guess I could have looked at that when deciding on uh, if Moxie was going to buy my wood or not. So what I could have done, well, I don't know if I leave six wood, Field Watchman probably takes it over plowing, right? Very hard to say. But this is a very good flip for me. I'll say it again. Alright, so, let's see. Yes, exactly, Fofo. Exactly. Three stone is perfect for me, so I'll take it if I can. Donba has the cooking corner. Well, that definitely goes well with vegetables. Donba's going to be plow sowing, which means I get to grow again. fortunate. My food situation's getting a tiny bit rough, but I still have these two miners to hit. Um, I do want to take wood with my last action. Oh, I only have two barterers left. Lots of ways f to get uh, drips of food here and there. My animals are breeding well. I think my feeding is okay, even if far from perfect. I'm probably not getting start player, just the way things are going. Uh, so I could take the four food there, but that's a bit underwhelming. What else am I doing? Getting out of the Reno queue would be pretty strong. And then Sugar Daddy gives me an extra two point move. Maybe I'd do that. Like Reno milk can here. Or run out feast. Uh, I think I'll be able to get a better wood pile, which might enable 
stables or fences as a better last move in round 14. All right, let's do this. Rano to stone. Give everyone a food here. Maybe milk can later. Yeah, I'm not sure how good this is. I have a lot to do next round. I probably can't take... Oof. I mean, I think... Uh, yeah, I'm now, ha I'm now having regrets. I should have just taken some wood. Though I just might have set up too many things to do. Being out of the reno queue is really good. I am basically going to need start player in order to, uh... But Donba's taking it, if I don't. Hmm... Yeah, I think I just needed to take wood. It felt wrong. It was wrong. Now I have to depend on... Uh, a lot going correctly. Though Donba doesn't need a third field quite as badly. And it's not Cloister Dweller. Because seven ox already. Wait, was that Donba's first field? No. No, he just hasn't, uh... Losing the gamble of, uh... The buy, uh, which might have not really been a gamble, just a poor, uh... Poor read of the board. It really uh, put my game out of order. So this plow staying available hopefully entices Don, but uh, take it right now instead of start player. Though of course plow so is always good. And I'm giving Donba the option to grow or plow here, so it's kind of ridiculous. I should be able to get start. So here I can uh, start Steel Plow, play Uprooter, and then maybe uh, something else. Sugar Daddy for a vegetable. Yeah, it all makes sense now.
Oh, that was Donbo's first field. Okay. But I think my game with 10 points is going to do just fine here. Donba's got a very, uh... Let's call it simple farm. If I don't get second dock, well, I mean, I can take a veg on Sugar Daddy. And that just might be the better, yeah, whoops. Yeah, no reason to... No reason to risk it here. I think Field Watchman has enough food. I don't really know what Moxie's up to. Yeah, I mean, I, I would have if I was being greedy, but uh, I think just taking a veg here can make things pretty straightforward to win this game. And I have a spite fence. Alright, so I have four food extra and animal types. I could take clay right now to max out my pottery. It's a two-point clay move. Don was going to get a max omni farmer. But I think just my card points and oc points are still better. And my farm's going to be better. So I shouldn't have trouble beating Donba. Field Watchman stuff looks pretty decent. Oh, Veg gets taken, and Ock got taken. So that means I take a cow here? Good thing I didn't take risks. Cow is okay. Field Watchman can't reno right now, which means the two renos are going to uh, Donba and uh, Moxie. Uh, so next move is going to be grow if possible. I have this milk can, which uh, Moxie won't be able to use very well, so that's probably my best feeding action. Six clays a couple points. Probably shouldn't have eaten a clay at all. But it's okay. I don't have a ton of points remaining. Let's see, does a spite fence actually do anything for me? No. 
one point. Just have stable for that one point also. Moxie takes growth, which I'm not a big fan of, but, you know, fair enough. Yeah, Don was saying would like to punish Moxie for not taking uh, Ren Fence. Hmm, Watchman coming out with some good stuff now. Wood Hut Builder here. I'm uh, a lot less sure I'm beating Field Watchman right now. My house is only one point better. Well, I don't know. Okay, hold on. Uh... Let's see. What's left on this board already? If I take three stone, I could try for stone oven for points, but that's two moves for three points in a difficult sequence. This is two points guaranteed. Veg is two points guaranteed. It's very takeable for other people. Nobody actually wants the clay. Yeah, Donba's like overfed. And Donba does have three fields now, right? So a so is a couple points for him. Donba's remaining moves, Reno, so X. Oh, not X, it's sheep. Donba kind of needs two sheep. Two plus one sheep. It's a couple points and some food, so I guess it's not that big. So is just better with Field Watchman being able to also. I like that Field Watchman loses a good action here. Alright, if, if these food don't... Ah, uh, no, it is three, because Donba plowed twice last round and got one this round. I still like my position. Not, not great. All right, y'all, figure your your food out. Do I just take the clay here? Moxie should take the sheep. And then last move I could, so let's see. Two pigs, one sheep, one clay definitely feeds me. Could just play stable, could fence one. I mean, it's probably fence one because Don mistaken. well, no, I don't actually know. Uh, I mean, well, no, I think it's two points in a food, right? Because you gain an Omnifarmer status. Pretty sure it was a gain of points. Alright, 
So what's what's remaining here? Magic beans was passed to field watchman. Uh, okay, so takes wood. Should I build a fence or should I block major minor? I mean, field watchman's wood is for sawmill anyway and ameliorator, so it doesn't matter. I will. Uh, Wow, it super doesn't matter which one I take here. Oh yeah, blocking Ock, I could have gotten a point also. Well, oh, I missed that one, so... Computer! Computer, please! I guess I need to figure this out. That's not what I clicked minus on, but it works. Oh, Field Watchman does fence. Yeah, no wood buyer when Moxie's out of actions here. Yep, yeah, no buying. All right, this finally, uh, my computer's happier. I mean, Field Watchman might have this. This looks pretty good. I didn't see the final. Oh, 35. Sawmill's not counted at all, but joinery is extra counted. Forty five. Wow. Okay, so I win by one. That ended up, uh... Uh... Yeah, well... Let's see, so joinery is two extra. So sawmills plus four if, uh, well, Yeah, okay, so I will trust whatever Field Watchman reports because... Yeah, so Sawmill is four. I think Donba didn't count the feeding enough, so 11? Yeah, okay. Alright, we got this. Alright, 
not not the most inspiring game, uh, unless you really like seeing Max Uprooter, uh, and I didn't even provide that. <laughs> so, uh, thanks all for watching, hope you enjoyed your time here. Uh, glad that I got one stream in this week through all my computer issues. And I will hope to see you all uh, next week. Tomorrow, I am playing in the Fire 2 tournament. Uh, which you can find at... That site. Or that stream page. So that's 10 a.m. Pacific, 1 p.m. Eastern, 7 CET, same time as usual. I will not be talking. It'll be the very entertaining Chris Bizzle and Andrew Martin bring you commentary of a two-game Terra Mystica sequence. And now I am off to prepare for that by grinding a little. Uh, no, I won't be streaming Terra Mystica, I think, AJ. Uh, that would be fun, but uh, I think keeping the same uh, tempo of whatever I'll need to be doing tomorrow is most helpful. So, you know, internal monologues, muttering to myself, maybe drawing some things on paper, things that look like numbers and counting. Uh, so that'll be all for me today. I don't think there's another Terra Mystica stream this weekend, but the week after I think we'll be back to our all-player commentaries some weekend time. So hope to uh, retroactively see you in the Fire 2 tournaments chat from tomorrow's games. Hope to see you all back here on my Twitch channel on Monday. Don't forget drinking and crying. Best prep I can do. Well, I'll see if I can do one of those. Take care, everyone. Enjoy your weekend, and see you for the next one.